Welcome back, West Texas. I'm here now with that full forecast. I mean, it's been a very busy day, both here in West Texas and especially to our east. Looking at our radar right now, we still have a couple storms that have been really showers that have been making their way in from the southwest. You see, we've got these showers over here that aren't really going to quite make it over. We've got some very low chances from this point on of seeing really any rain whatsoever. We are pretty much done, but you see over here on the eastern half, they have got a very action packed next couple of hours. Things are pretty much moving to the side. You see Dallas is pretty much in the clear aside from some of those suburbs on the eastern side. You can't quite see Austin in this camera, but it's pretty much the same situation. They are almost getting through the thick of things, so things are almost going to be clear for just about everybody. Now, current conditions, we've cooled down quite a bit. Temperatures gotten to the 70s for everybody. We're in the 60s right now. We had some on and off clear skies and cloudy skies, and as we continue into the evening, we're going to see some more cloudy skies, which the sky is going to stay kind of that dark gray color, and that's going to be because we actually have a cold front that'll be coming through later as well. But lows tonight going to be dropping into the 40s is going to be a pretty average night compared to ones we've seen before. You see around 41 degrees for just about everybody. The lowest I'm seeing for right now is 39 degrees here in Sterling City. But over these next couple of days, we're going to have some nicer days um, and some slightly cooler days. You see, because of that cold front, Tuesday and Wednesday particularly are going to stay a little bit cooler in the 60s. But, that's, but by the time we get to Thursday, we'll have high pressure start to work its way back into the area. And that's where we're going to see some even greater temperatures getting way back up into the 80s by the time we get to next weekend. So got the weather pattern here to show you what's going on. We've got all this rain here and storms that are making their way through the eastern half of Texas. And we have this cold front here that is approaching us right now. So as we continue through tonight, that cold front's going to make its way through, passing in those overnight hours generally out of our area by the time we get to around 4 a.m. So the cold front will be passed by the time you're waking up on Tuesday morning, and we will have a little more cloud cover start to make its way in. Now, as we continue into the rest of the week, this low pressure system is going to keep moving its way off towards the east, and it's going to bring in some of these cooler air uh, with these winds coming in from our north. So that's what's when it, that is what's going to keep Tuesday and Wednesday a little bit on the cooler side. But as we get past Wednesday, we have this high pressure here that's going to sort of slowly push its way off as we get into Thursday, and that's what's going to bring us some of that warmer air, especially as it moves even further east of us as we get through the rest of the weekend. So, of course, with these nicer conditions, of course, we have more fires to worry about. Not necessarily that we may see more fires spark up midweek, but more so how can we, how quickly can we put out some of the fires that we have right now? So humidity levels on the rise because we had all of this rain come through today, and it's going to stay a little bit higher, especially in those overnight hours. You see in the 40s and 50s in that morning time, but as we get into the high afternoon, even towards the evening on Tuesday, that's when we start to see some of these relative humidity values drop way back lower into the 20s, even into the teens, and we're going to basically see that pattern repeat over these next couple of days, Wednesday and Thursday. You see they get to the 30s. We drop back down to the teens, even the single digits for some on Wednesday. And as we get into Thursday, that's when we'll see even more of that virus start to become more of a prevalent issue. You see just Thursday at 1 p.m. right here, 10 percent here in San Angelo, 9 percent in Abilene. So it's going to continue to have another dry weekend, possibly a little bit similar to what we saw last week. So with all of these strong winds blowing around, they'll continue to be breezy, you know, at minimum around 15 miles per hour. We're going to see a lot of pollen moving around. It's springtime, so it seems like something we're going to have to keep talking about. Grass pollen going to be at a medium, but of course we're looking at tree pollen the most. That's going to have the highest levels and have you sneezing the most, so definitely prepare for that over this week. But wrapping up with your seven-day forecast, it's going to be a fairly nice week, fairly calm week, hopefully, compared to last week. You see in the 60s, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll warm back up as we continue into the rest of the weekend, possibly even hitting the 90s by the time we get to the beginning of next week.